Hi everyone, it's me, Melanie, your IVF nurse, and today's segment is going to be about ovarian cysts. What is an ovarian cyst? This is a sac or pocket of fluid or solid matter, and sometimes even a mixture of both, that sit on the ovaries. An ovarian cyst usually forms around the time of ovulation. Most times they are asymptomatic, meaning that you've got no symptoms of having an ovarian cyst at all. And those of you going through cycle monitoring, whether it's for a timed intercourse cycle, insemination cycle, or an IVF cycle, that is when you're probably finding out through the ultrasounds that you've got an ovarian cyst. Most times the cysts don't do anything and they just sit on the ovaries and most doctors will then only wait and see if the cyst will go away on its own. And cysts are commonly seen when you've been using medications such as Clomid, Gonalef, Puragon, Reprenex, Menopure, all of these medications that will encourage the growth of follicles or the increase the production of eggs on your ovaries and always lead to residual cysts after your cycle has completed. In the event you should have a large cyst and it ruptures, you will be feeling symptoms such as tense pain, nausea, feeling very bloated or full, having pelvic pain, lower back pain, difficulty emptying your bladder, pain during intercourse. Now, the way to diagnose a cyst would be through ultrasounds. And those of you going through cycle monitoring will know that you routinely do ultrasounds. So this is why you may find that you're being told that you have a cyst because normally if you're not going through a cycle monitoring program there'd be no reason really for you to be doing ultrasounds as frequently. In having your ultrasounds done through cycle monitoring the technician is able to measure out the size of the ovarian cysts and this will give you some idea throughout the cycle if the cyst has remained consistent in size, if it's growing or if it is shrinking. Now, the other way to confirm if you've got a cyst is through doing blood work. So if your hormones tend to be off then, or meaning not within normal ranges, then you may find that you could have irregular bleeding or light spotting intermittent throughout the cycle. Um, this would be something to be discussing with your doctor about as well, just to have it investigated to see if this is affecting your cycle and your ability to get pregnant. The hormone estrogen or your estradiol levels are elevated with a cyst and this will vary from doctor to doctor. They may cancel your cycle and advise you that this is not ideal for you to proceed with a timed intercourse cycle or insemination or even proceeding with your IVF cycle. Whereas the elevated estradiol levels can affect your body's response to the medications. So you do want to be speaking to your doctor or your nurse to see after you've had your baseline ultrasound or your day two ultrasound if there's anything you should be concerned with. Usually no news is good news. Ovarian cysts are functional cysts which means that they are benign. They typically form during your menstrual cycle. Other benign cysts are follicular cysts ovulating the egg should be released or burst free from the follicle however some do not and they get trapped this causes a follicular cyst these types of cysts usually go away on their own the corpus luteum cyst is one that we see regularly when patients are doing IVF or insemination cycles as this is the cyst that um, once the egg is released from the follicle the follicle wall then becomes the corpus luteum and this is the cyst that produces progesterone levels helping to support a pregnancy. Endometrioma cysts are usually found in women with a diagnosis of endometriosis. Women with a diagnosis of PCOS, so polycystic ovarian syndrome, they have multiple small cysts that develop on the ovaries. To be diagnosed with PCOS, you should be seeing your gynecologist or fertility specialist for management and workup as this can be an issue when you are trying to conceive. If you've been informed that you have a cyst, these are usually the typical treatments. So the first being doing nothing and just waiting to see what happens and most time a benign cyst will go away on its own. The second way is birth control pills, as this controls the hormones which can contribute to the development of cysts. 
For more serious cases, surgery to either aspirate the cyst to remove the cyst may be the only option, but this would be at the discretion of your doctor or gynecologist. I hope you found this information helpful. Please feel free to visit my website www.yourivfnurse.com or you can email me yourivfnurse at gmail.com with any comments or suggestions you may have. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel or comment down below. My Instagram is yourivfnurse if you want to follow along and just see any of my daily posts. Thanks for watching.